What is Harp Technology? An overview. Harp stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. It is a research program that involves a complex of antennas and transmitter facilities located in Gakona, Alaska. The primary purpose of HARP is to study the ionosphere, which is the layer of the Earth's atmosphere that extends from about 50 to 600 kilometers above the surface. By using high-frequency radio waves, scientists can stimulate the ionosphere and study its effects. Some potential applications of ionospheric research include improving radio communication and navigation systems, predicting and mitigating the effects of space weather on technology and infrastructure, and developing new technologies for space exploration and communication. By studying the effects of HARP on the ionosphere, Scientists can better understand how the ionosphere affects radio communication and navigation systems. HARP can also be used to study the aurora borealis, or northern lights, which are caused by charged particles from the sun interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. HARP has been used to investigate the physics of plasma turbulence and the effects of space weather on communication and navigation systems. HARP is one of several ionospheric research facilities around the world, including facilities in Norway, Russia, and China. The HARP facility has been used in collaboration with other research facilities to conduct experiments on ionospheric heating, plasma physics, and space weather. Some people have associated HARP with conspiracy theories involving weather modification, mind control, and earthquakes, but there is no scientific evidence to support these claims. The HARP program was officially shut down in 2014, but the facility and its capabilities remain under the control of the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And that's what HARP is all about. You were watching Alpha Science Academy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to ask your questions and to give feedback. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more science-related content.